Yo guys, what is up? And today we will be reviewing Playmates Shimo Toy. Um, and let's dive straight into it. Okay, first off, let's talk about the paint. Now, no painted toenails. Um, like what? Uh, don't be, don't be the Jurassic World toys, Playmates. Um, and I don't know, it's just white paint. Uh, the eye looks a little weird. It's just one blue dot, and then in the mouth, it's so lazy, it's just red. Um, and some of the spikes aren't even painted on this thing, but I like how some of the crystals are transparent, and then on the tail, it fades um, into this cool blue. Um, the paint on the tail is actually like really good, and overall, I'd have to give the paint job probably like a 5.6 out of 10 they could have done better okay now let's talk about the possibility so first you can um move the fee i don't know what you could use that for but i bet you could find um a clever way to use that um and the neck um looks like it has an extra joint but it really doesn't it looks like it has an extra joint from the circle but it just moves up and down um but that's really all you need for the neck then the legs honestly are pretty poseable um i like it the front legs are then the back legs just move uh forward and backward but it makes sense it's the back legs um and yeah then the tail it's just one joint but that's okay because you don't really need two joints for a tail um and then the jaw opens really wide <laughs> like almost too wide i don't know why you would get it that wide but i mean it's it's there if, if you want to open it that wide and of course if you are wondering yes it can stand on two legs just make sure to move the tail so it gets balanced um and yeah um the posability on this thing is honestly pretty good i'd give the posability on this an eight out of ten pretty solid okay now let's talk about the atomic breath um so just like godzilla when you open the mouth um on the roof of it there's a hole that you can um stick the atomic breath into um and i don't know why but on the shimo toy it's actually like kind of hard to get it in there i don't know if it's just the one i got but it's actually a struggle to get it in there um uh, but um yeah um now another downside um about shimo's atomic breath in this it's it's pointing downwards like if you want it to point towards something upward it's kind of impossible to get it to do that um again i don't know if it's just mine the detail on it is actually pretty nice i like how it's transparent um and yeah i'd give the atomic breath probably like a six out of ten definitely could have done better okay so now um we're gonna do two rankings on this with the posability paint job um and atomic breath all together so if you are not the biggest fan of the monster verse and you just want to get a cool monster toy and this is what you get uh, this toy would probably be like a 5.6 out of 10 um but if you are an actual fan of the monsterverse um and just want to get godzilla x kong toys um and merch and stuff this is honestly a great thing to get um and it's only nine dollars so for the monsterverse fan side of you this would be a solid like 7.6 out of 10 like it's a pretty awesome toy um anyway that's all for me i hope you like this video please like and subscribe and goodbye